All right, so this is where we're at so far. Uh, I have the Zvezda service module, the, uh, I think that's the Poisk, it's the MRM2 uh, docking adapter slash Russian airlock. Let's see, is it, yeah, that's Poisk. Let me see, I'll zoom in there. All right, yeah, that's Poisk. And uh, you can actually see the little, this can actually come off, i be very careful. Uh, this actually has docking adapters, so. Uh, and this cone here actually comes off and you're able to attach visiting, let me see if I can do this with one hand here, uh -huh. right. able to attach uh, visiting spacecraft, I don't want to do it because I only have one hand, but it kind of, well, actually I can do it back here, and same deal, uh, let's say you have the ATV or whatever the ESA is. I really can't do it with one hand. Ah, there we go. And it's a little slot. It goes right in there. And it's the same deal that, that looks like with the um, Zarya and Unity connector, which I have to buy the Unity. Um, this website that I'm buying all these from, ha you can build half the space station, but the one thing that you have to buy is the Unity module, which is like 20 something dollars, which is reasonable. Uh, because, you know, if you want to buy a pre-made model of the International Space Station, let me zoom, let me get the focus in here, right, there we go. If you want to buy a pre-made model, they usually go for about a couple thousand dollars, and they're very, you know, accurate to scale, but uh, how many are modular is the question, and uh, building it yourself is really fun. Uh, I've, I've been making models and stuff since forever, uh, and this is just a little hobby that I can do. Look at the solar panel. Look how the, the wingspan is amazing on these things. This is a 1 to 100 scale uh, International Space Station, uh, not a 1 to 144 scale. I, am, I, have, I was mistaken. And uh, I chose the folded wing panel um, just for simplicity. I didn't want to have to deal with uh, both the wings spread out, because then I just have to change it as soon as I got the Unity node ready. Uh, let's do a little flyby here. Oh no, I'm Sandra Bullock. Uh, tether's detached. Okay, so a little bit of detail there. I have to actively zoom. What does this button do? Oh, take pictures. Oh, that's neat. I'm learning about my iPhone every day. So. Rotate around here. If I can focus again. There we go. Alright, so all these little details I did myself. Um, the thing that took the most time was actually this thing. This entire piece. Right here, this entire thing. Just because the pieces were so small, I had to be really delicate with it. And as you can see, they're kind of not aligned very well. Uh, that was my bad. Uh, I was using a bad blade on my X-Acto knife and I was running a little low on glue. And I wasn't just having, I just wasn't having a good day. <laughs> so I'll probably remake that in the future. Um, things to come, the uh, identical, uh, I know it's PIR in Russian, but it's, but I forgot it's P-I-R-S, PIRS docking compartment or PIRS docking thing. Anyway, the Piers is going to go there, and then uh, I'm going to take a short break, and then I'm going to go ahead and build the Rosfiat module that goes here, and that's, uh, let me see if I can pull it up on my computer while I talk. Uh, aha, okay, so uh, this is what it's supposed to, well, that's the reference picture of what I was doing. Let's see if I can pull up, aha, so this is the uh, Rosfiat one to one MRM one and that's what I'm going to be doing next and you know you remember how the MRM two how small that one is up here well this one's just a little bit bigger but it has a lot of small pieces on it and these are just all the components and so on and so forth and this is just the instructions guide um, I built mine a little bit differently on accident and on purpose 
<laughs> uh, for you uh, really big space geeks and uh, space hipsters, you notice that there is something off about this construction. And it started with this main body here. The, oh, if I can do this with one hand again, let's see if I'm as talented as I say I am. Nope, 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 put this down. And, uh, we'll do it this way. Oops, oh no, something fell off. Oh well, we'll glue it back in. Alright, so, <laughs> minor malfunction, but that's okay. That'll be glued on later. So, if you notice, uh, where's my finger? Okay, so this is actually supposed to be over there. This body is, is upside down. Um, I noticed that uh, when I was looking at reference pictures of the actual um, Zvezda service module. My bad. <laughs> I was, I don't know, I, I guess I, I didn't, maybe the instructions, the, the instructions did say something about uh, this is not the final, this is just the demo, whatever, you know. And so I, I relied a lot on um, uh, reference pictures, the real, the real reference pictures, not the one that I showed you earlier. And also, there's another thing that's backwards. This, where's the finger? This is actually flipped around. Not, not that piece, not that piece, but the middle piece is actually flipped around. But you actually can't tell at all when you're looking down it. Uh, I could only tell because I was looking at the instructions. And uh, the instructions were like, hey, you know, this is backwards. And I was like, oh, well, whoops. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to take a break for now, and then I'm going to study up on the Rosviet module uh, and, and fix that. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's what i got so far. I mean, it's not the best, you know. I haven't made models in a million years, so kind of dusting off all my gear and talent again. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you star side.